gonna start it again. Our beekeeper is coming oh, in with his in. ladder. Hey, where's Otto? Otto is Yenwa. at Yanwa. <laughs> So is there something actually up there in that tree that attracted them there? No, uh, there's, there's, probably, uh, there's probably a colony of bee tree or something within about 200 feet of here. Uh-huh. Matter of fact. A uh, it's right up there. See that hole in that tree? Yeah. Yeah, all the way up there? Uh-huh. And there's bees that live in there? Yep. So you can see them every once in a while when he flies in and out of there. Uh-huh. Yeah, see? I do see that. That's where they live. And it's just a swarm that came out of there. So are they going to come recolonize in our yard again? Uh, maybe next spring. <laughs> they usually only do it once a year in the spring. So. And you said they wouldn't stay there very long on their own? No, you, usually they're gone in a day or two. Uh, yeah. Once in a while they can't decide where to go and then they'll stay there. You know, they, they wouldn't have survived. So these ones are coming out. I know. Well, I want you to know it's hilarious that I'm this close to bees because I hate them. I'm scared of them. What do you do with them when you've got them? Really? Now I'm so surprised that you have net thingies. Net thingies? I have a hat and all that, but I don't usually wear them. Why didn't you bring three for us? Well, there are still some on the leaves. So you have honey in that box too? Yeah, he said there's a queen in there. Can you hear all this buzzing? This is flipping me out. No, don't bring them out! So do you sell the honey or is it just for you? Yeah, no, I sell it. Can we have a can of it next year? Sure. <laughs> you can call it happy birthday, honey. It's my daughter's 12th birthday. <laughs> I think they're trying to rebuild. Yeah. They're rebuilding. Yeah, they'll come down. Did you just get stung? Yeah. You didn't even scream. No, I actually have a stung side. You have? Yeah, Does that mean I should move? <laughs> Definitely smaller. Yeah, they're trying to rebuild up there. They're just sort of confused, aren't they? Yeah. See, when you're up in a cluster like that, there's a lot of scouts that go out uh -huh. in the field and they're looking for a place to set up a new colony. Yeah. And as they, as they come back, they'll come back to there and they don't realize they're down here because they don't move down. Cool. As long as the queen gets in here and uh, most of the bees are in here, the rest of them will come in here. And any that are left behind and are out in the field when they come back, uh -huh. if the colony's gone, they'll go back up to the original colony. So we go to the hole in the tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Harley did it a couple of minutes ago. Mom, look, Harley did it I don't think Harley knows the difference. Of course. <laughs> yeah, they're rebuilding. You probably hear some buzzing. Was this a big swarm relative to what no, you've seen? No, actually kind of a small one. Really? Have you ever seen a bigger swarm than this? Yeah, yeah, I got one yesterday. It was about twice as big. Wow. Oh, is that the one in Illinois? Uh-huh. Ah. See, we used to have those come over a lot. A lot. We used to have those come over a lot. So, do you have to keep these bees separate from the rest of the ones you have? No, just in a separate box. Uh, I mean, but if you mix their colonies or whatever, would they... Well, 
to, to mix the colors, I'd have to take the clean out of one and then combine them slowly. You put a piece of newspaper between them. Uh huh. Chew through the newspaper and go through them. Just mix it gradually. <laughs> so they don't realize it's a different fruit. How'd you learn all this stuff? Well, by reading everything I could get my hands on. I started keeping them when I was about 14. Oh my gosh. Huh. There's a lot of information on them. They're pretty fascinating. Well, I was telling the girls I read a book called The Secret Life of Bees, which was actually really interesting. Yeah, I've heard a lot. I've never read that book. You ought to. It's an interesting story. I mean, it's a little bit more about the women's lives than about the bees, but you learn about that too. Yeah, from, from, from what a few people told me, there's, uh, it's kind of a. Uh, I'm not sure how much they knew about bees or what. The people who wrote it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> I know they got something in there about making purple. So, <laughs> I won't critique it too much. Well, they're definitely settling down. How do they stay there when the wind is blowing them like that? Huh. All right. Do you mind if I prune that one little branch off there? I don't mind. I'm going to rest them down and put them in there. All right, we're going to go to video part three.